let me show you how to migrate from one version of MariaDB to another. And this is where I have right now. I'm connected to a database server running Ubuntu. We are on MariaDB 11.4. And we want to migrate to MariaDB server version 11.8, which at the time of the uh, recording of this video is the latest long-term support version of MariaDB, which by the way is the first version with uh, long-term support that has the vector data type and vector series and all these cool stuff to build AI applications with uh, RAG, for example. But it has some other uh, interesting features like faster replication, faster backup and restore, extended range for timestamp, enhanced JSON path expressions, validation and performance, Unicode now is the default character set, improved authentication, enhanced temporal tables, better observability, expanded Oracle compatibility, and more. So plenty of reasons to upgrade MariaDB. Now let me show you that I have some databases here. In particular, I have demo. Let's also show tables in this database. And let's select all the data, maybe in languages from demo.languages. Let's limit to 10, actually. So we have some data there. Now, we need to do a couple of things here. And since we are playing with the version of MariaDB and the server, and this is a, a, a critical step, we might want to take a backup. So let's do that first. Let's run sudo mariadb backup and then we pass this um, argument this is going to take a, a physical backup of your data completed okay what you get is this directory with all the files that make up your database so you can restore it in case something goes uh, wrong now in order to update uh, or upgrade MariaDB, we need to install new packages in Linux, right? I'm running Ubuntu, so um, the package manager that I'm using is uh, apt. Now we need to know which packages we want to upgrade. And one way to do it is by running apt list installed, but we are interested only in those packages that start with MariaDB and also those packages that are not um, uh, managed automatically. So I'm gonna filter out automatic. And these are the packages that we want to upgrade. MariaDB server, client, and backup. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, the next thing we need to do is to upgrade the repositories. Unfortunately, there is a, a page in the uh, MariaDB.com website called MariaDB Package Repository Setup and Usage, which has a script that you can use uh, for this. Now, you can download this and install it, but I'm going to take a look at the options here because there is one interesting one, which is MariaDB server version. So you can specify which version you want to uh, set up your repositories um, to point um, two. And here is an example of how to use it in the command line. So I'm going to copy this. Now this one uses the help um, option, which I'm not interested in. I'm interested in this one. So I'm going to copy that one. And let's use it here. And I can just specify 11.8 here, as simple as that. Hit enter and this is going to download the script, uh, run it and update the repository lists. Um, this also works across uh, different uh, Linux distributions and uh, package managers. So that's pretty cool. All right, so once we have done that, we can just run sudo apt upgrade. And we need to specify the uh, packages that we want to upgrade, which were MariaDB server, MariaDB client, and MariaDB backup. We check that everything is okay. There is a file there that's .old1, which is created just in case you want to return to the previous version of that file. You can delete it later, but it seems everything is okay. And this is going to uh, download the packages and install MariaDB and upgrade MariaDB automatically uh, for you. So everything seems to be okay. We can, uh, what can we do now? We can actually check the packages are updated with the same command. So we have now 11.8 
And maybe we can also check MariaDB. Yes, we are running 11.8. We can check that our data is there. As easy as that. Another way, by the way, to check that you are the, your uh, version is by selecting the variable version. And we can see that it returns uh, 11.8 as well. So it's that simple. If you are uh, upgrading from a previous version, then I would suggest to make the migration step by step. So from one LTS to the next one, then to the next one and so forth. Hopefully until you arrive to the latest LTS, uh, which at the time of recording this video is uh, 11.8. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.